Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Antwerp introduces ID card fees for non-Belgians Panic in Greece as medicine supplies fail Kleptocrats splash out on bananas Will Britons in France be impacted by a UK-EU exit? Plus, EU guidelines for the 2014 budget are released. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage. I reported yesterday that Britain is planning to introduce a paid-for ID for Romanians, Bulgarians and European nationals. This article reports a very similar system being proposed in Antwerp. Interestingly, the EU already put forward concerns about disparity between charges for nationals and non-nationals. However, the same legislation being proposed in two separate countries tells us here at the unit that there is some overarching policy being implemented. Notice when we reported on the subject of gay marriage, we were able to show that to be an EU directive linked back to the Stockholm programme. This looks like a move to introduce national ID cards across the board and creating controversy around pricing issues and administrative disparity is a common sleight of hand tactic. Of course, we'll investigate further and report back what we discover. Well, it continues to go from bad to worse as the collapse continues. It infuriates me that none of our kleptocrats in the Bureau will call it for what it is, an economic collapse. Despite the mainstream media silence over what is happening in Greece, this article looks at the current situation and discusses how medical supplies are no longer getting through to the people. So now we can add restricted and failing medical supplies to the homelessness, poverty and starvation that the EU seems happy to smite upon the people of Greece. This obstinate ignorance by the kleptocrats in the two towers of Mordor is saddening and infuriating and we should all lift our voices in opposition. With this in mind, I ask you to consider making a YouTube video response with a message to Greece and its people. I will feature them here on this show, lifting our voices together that the EU might hear. Email your videos to me. My contact page is in the links below. What? Just Mr. Draghi thought he could sloop off for a well-earned rest from money printing. Get back to that Heidelberg. The kleptocrats have been out on the razzle again. <laughs> Sheesh. This time they're splashing out three billion on banana growers in the Azores, Canaries, Martinique and Guadeloupe. Three million pounds. Hey, Andrew, how many bananas can you get for three billion quid at Aldi these days? Well, if ever the passengers on the Titanic needed a decent reason for staying aboard and not manning the life rafts, this piece of food would certainly not be it. This article puts forwards the argument that should Britain leave the EU, then the status of expat nationals in France and potentially other countries would be brought into question and could cause big problems. This is an interesting article, but one that should be read with an open mind. One must always remember who's really got all the bananas. John dug up the newly released budget guidelines for the 2014 budget. This report sets the parameters for developing the 2014 budget spending arrangements. One interesting aspect is the drive towards a paperless parliament and an increased use of e-meetings. The full article is worth becoming familiar with as I'm sure we'll be referencing the budget planning skills of the EU in future episodes. What's that you say, Andrew? 12 billion, 647 million, 531,272 bananas. Wow, that's a lot of bananas. <laughs> Today in our video library, Kat takes an animated view of what really happened in regard to the Greek tragedy. I think it's long past the time for us to speak out. These debts which the Greek people have been saddled with are not of their personal making. How can we accept in the Parliament of Europe a group of people that rank a project and its principles above human life and suffering? I would love to hear convincing justification for their action. 
That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. And finally, our The Word program is active again. If you would like one of our public speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.